Hey guys, so last week, or whatever time, you're realizing that I'm that bad bitch from your dream. So anyways, since I made such a cute shareable video last week about dating apps, I thought the perfect companion video would be to make a video about drinking. <laughs> drinking. <laughs> because honestly, drinking is cool and it's so hot right now. And it like goes hand in hand with dating. Whether you're pre-gaming drinks with a match on Tinder or you're inviting a date back up to your place for a drink or if you're ordering doubles to try to make your date look a little better, then you need to know my top five cocktails. Get it? Cocktails. Oh my God, we should totes pre-game this video. But first, we're starting with number five. So coming in at number five is vodka soda with a splash of crayon. So first, you'll need some vodka, which has like what skinny bitch bodies need. Then you'll need some soda water, which is like regular water, but like with bubbles. You'll also need some ice, which is like water, but cold. And cranberry juice, which is like water, but if it were made out of cranberries. So to make this drink first, we'll start by pouring a shot of vodka into the glass. Actually, we'll start by pouring two shots of vodka into the glass. You know, just a healthy pour of vodka. Just a little bit, you know, just like whatever you feel is right for your cocktail. All right, then adding a little bit of our soda water here. And we just need like one cap of cranberry juice. And we'll just boop. There you have it, vodka soda with a splash of crayon. This is like a great cocktail to have at brunch, at like a work event, in the car, or even like out on the town. It is a multi-dimensional drink and that is why it is my number five cocktail. Oh my God, I am already like feeling it. Next we have number four. Okay, my number four cocktail is, drum roll please, white wine. So what you'll need is a bottle of white wine, two glasses to use to mix, a glass to pour your drink into, and of course, it's not a cocktail unless you have a fun straw. So first we'll pour ourselves a little bit of white. And I love this drink because it's refreshing and it serves me like strong Kirsten Cohen vibes, which I love. Now we'll mix our cocktail and you just put your glasses like this and whoop, shake it, whoop, shake a little bit. And now it is ready to pour. And we have our cocktail. Best part about this cocktail is that you can drink it like anywhere since it basically looks like water. Oh, oh my God, we should like play some beer pong after this. That would be so fucking fun. Uh, anyways, next we have number three of my top five cocktails. So coming in at a strong number three is white wine, but on the rocks. I always thought it was super sexy when people would like order drinks on the rocks at bars. But the problem is, have you ever tried a drink on the rocks? It's disgusting. Luckily, white wine is delicious. So first you'll just Pour yourself some wine, give it a little mix. We will pour our cocktail and then we'll put some of our cold water, put some of our cold water into our drink. Easy peasy. And of course, it is not a cocktail unless you have a fun straw. 
And this is like a great cocktail to enjoy at a bar, in a backyard, in summer, at your AA meeting. It's really just like a great cocktail anywhere. Here for it. Coming in at number two. Oh my God, I am so gross. Like, can someone please stop me? Like, oh my God, someone has to stop me. So, coming in at number two of my top five cocktails, a drink I love any time of year, or really like any time of day, red wine. For this cocktail, you'll need a bottle of red wine, you know what? Let's make it two bottles of red wine. So this is probably the heaviest cocktail I have poured so far this evening. So it does not pair well with working out, but it does go great with, you know, cooking dinner, eating dinner, um, showering in a secret box in your parents' garage, at your court hearing. It is a cocktail for all occasions, and we can't forget our fun straw. And just like this, we have our number two cocktail. And the best part about this cocktail is that if you drink enough of it, people can't even tell if you missed when you're putting on your lipstick and got a little on your teeth. Last, we have number one, numero uno, just like I should be in all of your hearts. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one cocktail in my heart and in my life, Diet Coke and Blow. Blow, woo! Diet Coke and Blow. So for this cocktail, you will need one can of Diet Coke, one note of paper currency with a value above 20. Oh fuck, that's a 10. That will not work. Luckily, we have our cocktail straws, which will work just fine. And one tablet, preferably an iPad, but technically any tablet will work for this cocktail. Last, but definitely not least, the best bag of cocaine that a girl can hide in her bra. Now due to some outstanding legal issues that I have, I actually can't demonstrate how to make this cocktail on camera, but I can tell you this is a great cocktail to just like jumpstart your morning or jumpstart your afternoon or jumpstart a night out. And dates will love the energy it gives you and that you bring to conversation. So yeah, that is my number one cocktail, Diet Coke and Blow. Ah, fuck it, we can have one, right? <laughs> Oh fuck, that was meth. Oh shit, that was definitely meth. I already bought this whole bag. Well, oh well. Mm. Meth is not that bad. Girl, that is not cute. Okay, you need to get it together. Like, really get it together. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit that like button because as I said earlier, I don't do this because I enjoy it. I do it because I need love and attention. Um, and also, if you haven't heard, February is Patricia Takeover Month. So get in the comments and let me know what I should do for my next video. And of course, if you made it to this point, you gots to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with the fetchest girl on the internet.
Thank <laughs> you.